Alexa, play hip hop. Okay. Alexa, play hip hop. Okay. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Triple M here. And today I will be showing you how to delete save recordings from your Amazon devices. Now, this is not just restricted to your echo devices this is also the same for your your fire sticks your fire tvs anything that you use that alexa button on uh, it keeps a recording the explanation is that they use that recording to help it better identify find the results um, in the future for me i am a little bit uncomfortable with that which a lot of people may be so let me know what you guys think of that portion of it do you think it's worth it having some of your recordings if it's going to be more accurate in the future i'll go ahead and drop that in the community section so head over there and vote after you watch this video So let's go ahead and we'll jump right into it. And what I'll do is I'll put a link uh, directly to your Amazon page where you can go ahead and check this out. Now you can also do this from your Alexa app, but I find that it's a lot easier from the website. But I'll link directions to both in the description of this video. So what you wanna do is click on the link in the description. It's gonna bring you directly to this page. This is your Alexa privacy settings. Now you have a couple options here. You can see you have the option to review your voice history. You also have a review history of detected sounds, review smart home device history, manage skill permissions and manage your Alexa data. So the two that we're gonna to touch on today is one, the review the voice history. And we're also gonna get into the data portion. That way we can tune it to where it won't do as much recording or any recording um, in the future. So first let's go ahead and we'll just go into review voice history. So you will see this drop down right here. Uh, right now it's set to today in all devices. So apparently I haven't used it today. So this is going to be blank. But what you want to do is hit the drop down and you can select certain dates. So right now I can select today. I can select the last seven days, 30, all history, or I can do a custom date range. I'm just going to select all for now. But when I hit the drop down, you can see it's using all of my devices. It has my Fire TV, my Fire TV stick, also has my Echoes in here, which I don't think any is on this account, but any of your smart devices will pop up in here. And you can see it has a ton of my devices. So I'll just leave all of them checked for now. So here are the recordings and it has the recording starting from October 14th and it'll go all the way through. So it looked like for the most part, I've been just trying to search for um, file explorer or racing games. And this is probably uh, for my fire stick review that I did a couple weeks back. So show front door. So trying to get it to show my, my doorbell. So this goes on forever. Triple M on YouTube, Triple M videos. Indian Scout 2020 as a motorcycle. A lot of recordings on here. And like I said, for me, I am not comfortable with this. Literally been scrolling for a couple minutes now. I did speed it up a little bit, but uh, we're still in 2020, October 2020. So we've gone back a full year. Play Moana for the kids, uh, I think, I hope. Um, turn off first light, set brightness to 100%. So all the smart home questions that you're asking, all the, the music that you're playing, everything that you ask Alexa, it's gonna pop up here, guys. So very, very concerning. So what can you do with these recordings? So one, if you hit the drop down right here, look like I was searching for Explore File Explorer. Look like they got it wrong for the most part, but you have the option to play it back, all right? So plays it back, you have the option to delete it, gives you the date, the device that it was on. It also asks you, did Alexa do what you wanted? So you can also give it some feedback saying, hey, for this, in this case, it didn't spell explore properly and it probably didn't find what I was looking for. So I can give it a thumbs down. That way you can kind of help it figure it out. And right there, you can tell them what's wrong. I can say, hey, I was, so you get to select the item, did not understand the words I said, did not perform the action, try to perform the action, did poorly, whatever you want to give it. If you want to give it feedback, you can go ahead and do so. And you can see I, I typed a little message just letting them know, hey, this is where you got it wrong. So I can submit that and it will use that feedback to, to kind of help you out in the future. So like I said, depending on how you look at it, it can be useful, it can be one of those things where it's kind of intrusive. But for me, I don't feel comfortable. So what I'll probably do is just delete all my recordings. Then I can kind of see if that affects the performance in the next couple of days. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this is something you want me to follow up on. So for now, I'm just gonna delete everything.
So everything has been deleted. And like I said, let me know if you want me to kind of follow up on this, see how my smart devices has been performing since I, I deleted everything. So the next section we're gonna look at, and again, this is just to prevent this from kind of happening again. You're gonna go to your manage your Alexa data. So click on that. And you can see you have the voice recording. So in this section, guys, the more you use Alexa, the smarter your devices get updating their speech patterns vocabulary and personal preferences. So data from a diverse range of customers also help ensure Alexa works for everyone. So voice recordings right here, you can enable deletion by voice. So if you turn this on, allows you to delete recordings by saying, Alexa, delete what I just said, or Alexa, delete everything I said today. So you can go ahead and turn that on. You also get to choose how long to save a recording. So if you click on that, you can save a recording until I delete them, save recordings for 18 months, for three months, or don't save recordings at all. So this is another option if you guys don't want this being filed, being recorded. Um, you can go ahead and just say, hey, I don't want you to save anything. I'll take my chances just doing what I need to do. If you get it wrong, so be it. So completely up to you. I'm gonna enable this option for now. Confirm. And you also have some of the same options with a smart home devices. So choose how long to save history, one time deletion of all history, email, complete history, sound history as well. So you do have the ability to go in and kind of change these settings. And that way you know that your voice isn't being recorded so as i said drop your thoughts in the comments let me know what you guys think let me know about the follow-up also head over to the community section cast your vote let me know what you think of the idea of this being recorded to help your devices um, search a little bit better in the future that's it for this video hit the thumbs up share this video subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one